D. Mike Davis and Nathan Childers. Winner of this plays Matt Clatterback, Clatterbuck. So this is the third, fourth match. Still a race to seven. Think about it for a second before it fell in for Mike. Cut the one ball enough. Yeah, Nathan will take a look at the stripes for this rack. did a defense there didn't really have a offensive shot um, still a situation over there for both of them between the five and the 14. Breakout by Mike. So he kind of bridged over the 14 for the four ball. So I have to avoid the 13 coming around and get on this five. Shot by Mike, got around that 13 without touching it. Got perfect on the five. Been asked for a better lead. Pretty much stunned this five on the side. Uh, the eight ball in the corner. Just like that. Perfect pocket speed. And yeah, first rack of the, this match. Goes to Mike Davis. Give 
is an early abandoned Nathan since it was Nathan's rack. Let's see if Mike has better success on his break at this table than he did last time he was here. Well, he's already changed the position of his break. Not only did he change the position of his break, he put more power on the hood. Made one stripe on the brake. Nothing really tied up in this rack. Given the layout, I'm gonna go with he's probably gonna take solids. does pass the five, so he screwed it over there for that. Center to five up to get it on three next. I'm not sure he wanted to go that far unless that four passes the thirteen. Probably gonna be taking a six ball next. Oh. Oh, I did pass. Probably take the six ball now, set up for the seven. Eight ball can it's probably gonna end up going inside. Davis with a very nice break and run. Goes up 2 nothing on Nathan.
Here comes Nathan to break, rack number three. Trailing zero two. Cue ball in the side pocket. The only ball he made was the cue ball, so it is open after the break. Cue ball in hand after a scratch, but anywhere on the table. Um, some issues out there. You got the looks like the 14 13 is not exactly wired up for a combo. Got the seven for solids, that may be an issue, but might be able to take that right away to get that in the side is what it's looking like. Mike's looking at that combo I was just talking about with the stripes. I think I'd have to probably take solids right now, but I'd probably take care of that seven first. Looks like he wants to go with stripes though. Possibly going to cut the uh, 12 in, which looks like natural English will uh, break out the combo of 13 to 14, if I'm seeing it correctly. Yep, line that up now, 14 goes on the side. like a whole different person than what was on the table earlier. Soon he's gonna make this and come across the table. I hung it. 13 decided to hang in the pocket for him. Pretty sure he's gonna be going for the nine ball next. I don't think he has a shot at anything else really. Might have had a window in there for the 15, but. Looks like he's gonna line up. Looks like two balls on his next target in the corner. Might end up using a seven to make that. Looks like he was trying to use a seven to make the uh, 13, but two ball didn't go itself. So brings Mike back to the table. Issues really out there. Everything got cleared up when he made that one ball. Just a question of which way Mike wants to take this. Assuming he's probably going to try to miss the same ball to get around it. Yeah, 15 on the side. Fifteen on the side decided to lay up on him.
danger out here for Nathan. Nothing tied up. Everything pretty much has a pretty easy pocket. It's probably going to float down here for the three on the back row right here. face he didn't expect to overroll it that much. Very smooth back cut. Perfect shape on a three ball. Seven in the corner, bring it back out a little bit of center table. I have eight ball in the same pocket, just like that. Definitely, man, a little bit short. Nothing, not a shot he can't handle, though. Just like that. Now, one, two, Mike Davis. sure you did, but uh. Mike, it's your break. It's Mike's, Mike Davis's break. I don't know. Yeah, thanks, man. Because the last break was by Nathan. It did go in the side pocket as a scratch. It's, it's too late at night. I don't remember what's going on anymore. to shoot better. Davis breaking, rack number four, leading two games to one. Surprised he changed his break back to the other one. But he's made a ball this time, made two, made one of each. You see him probably taking stripes right now just because of the five, six, seven. Um, cluster that's in the corner over there. And just I thought taking stripes. Didn't make sense to go after solids, like I said, with that trifecta combination down there.
Mike's going for a 13 in the side. Set up for the 14 next. So we'll probably float down center table to have the 15 next. Yep, spun out center table. Probably make the 15. Just want to see what kind of. Uh, Roll, come off the 15 when he makes it. I'm assuming it'll probably just roll in right behind it without nudging the 8 too much. So he has 9 in the same pocket. Just like that. Didn't even touch the 8 ball. Let's mic up 3 1. Nathan coming to the table. Start rack number five, trailing three to one for Mike Davis. Winner of this plays Matt Clutterbuck. Well, he saw the scratch, but unfortunately, he had a dry break. And on the table. Honestly, I'd probably be going for stripes just because the same weird cluster with the five, six, seven. A little bit of an issue with the eleven, but probably be able to break that out when he shoots the fifteen, if not with the nine. three ball. Smooth shot. We're able to break everything out nicely. Even tied up that uh, 14 and 13, or 10 and 13 for Nathan. Shoot the five ball, set up for four ball next.
assume he's gonna play the six. Probably settle for the two next. That's what it looks like. Go from the two to the seven. Seven. Oh no, I forgot about the one. I'll shoot the two. Track down for the one next. Seven goes on the side. side. Looks like he's gonna let out a stroke a little bit, draw a stroke on this. Assuming he's coming back for a one. Don't think he got there, nope. He just pointed at the table, he's definitely probably close to a foot, foot and a half short of what he wanted. Doesn't look very happy with where he got the cue ball. Seven. And he still didn't get on a one like he wanted. Been chasing that lead the whole entire rack. Now he's out to kick at the one ball. Going two rails with it. Ended up overdoing the one. tail start with the 12 ball nice cut down the rail take a look at the 11 it does pass past the one right now you may have to use the back side of the one but overall it does go actually opened up the 14 for him. So curious to see what he's going to end up doing with this uh, 10 and 13. I don't think it lines up. I'll be worried about him. Soon one of the balls are lined up for a pocket that I just can't tell right now. To me, they look like they're froze together, but. Got a little separation, but I don't think you got the separation you wanted. Pretty sure there's probably going to be a safety coming here. Pop the 13, 10, send the 10 all the way to the other rail. Verify there's a gap between them. All right, just left Mike 
okay, uh, jump or a kick, now which way he wants to go. looking for the one real kick good hit on the one all Nathan has to do is roll the 10 in not to do anything fancy with the cue fixing to get ready to break rack number six currently leading Nathan three to two after 2 o'clock. It's going to go after 2 o'clock. I think that was like 3, 3, 4 o'clock. Still got two more matches to come. You're running the final to 9, right? You're running the final to 9, right? 8. Could be interesting. I can only see the backlash from that later. All right, seems like Mike's figured out his break. Got an issue down there with the. Uh, Probably gonna end up shooting solid. Two fourteen seven line. It was a three ball combo. Sounds about right. I mean, you got it singled out to one table, so it's not like anything else really can be done.
calling a seven ball. Take care of that three, three ball combo that's uh, lingering in the corner. Pretty sure his plan is to get that 14 out of the way so the two can go in behind it afterwards. Probably gonna have a little bit of pace on this shot. He must not like the angle. Called to seven again. Guess he wanted to get a little closer, get a better angle with the two going into it. He's he's on punch this week. Get that, yeah, get that 14 out of the way. Pretty sure that two's gonna go in the side. Then again, shoot it straight all the way down the corner. Two in a corner, four in a side, six in a corner. Eight ball in the opposite corner. This racket's done. Hmm. Eh, you have to spin the six a little bit and get on the four. Back towards the 11. Yeah, that's perfect. A little bit of a rub on the four. Eight ball go right past the 14. Mind you, this is a race to six, so. Ball in the corner gives Mike a 4 2 lead. Nathan fixing the break. Tiger Baker joining us. Where am I? Where am I? You're somewhere in the continental U.S. We know we can't find you via your phone, so that's okay. I'm feeling rather lucid right now. It's been a long day. Me too. Marathon day. Still got two matches to follow this. Not getting anything to fall. So the only problem child here with the low balls is a six, it looks like Jason, with the large balls, a twelve nah, balls. A six out. goes past that fourteen all day. Well then we're looking at a low ball run out here for Mike Davis, who was down five nothing to BJR three in the
so glad you told me that. I had no Thank idea. You. What I do. I think he's okay with that, Jason. Is he looking at the three or the four first? What do you think? I think he was trying to get on three. I think he's trying to end up busting that uh, 15 to break that seven out. And he's calling him three. I think he's going to use the rail and use the 15 to bust the seven out. Right now, seven doesn't have a pocket. <laughs> no, he's not doing that because uh, A, missed a three, and B, no breakout happened. Did tie up Nathan's 14 ball. He's done a good job of slowing down Nathan's pace. Nathan likes to play quick. Uh, he's making Nathan think too. The table's not an easy out. I think he's going to end up doing the 10 ball off the backside of the three. Which is the right play. It's the right play here. Well, he's going to have to open that 14 lucky. up if he wants to run it out. And he's that's have to get a little lucky here. Nah. Right off the back rail, off the back side of that three, nothing but net. Probably about a medium pace. I don't want to overpower this. Powered it, but got the result unfortunately of the scratching inside. And now there's nothing blocking anything. It should be. I'm going to take the three ball first, shoot it over to the side, stop it for the seven. I think I take the seven now. Well, we're going to see which one of us is right, and you probably are because. Actually, three to the seven and the six to the two. Yeah, I didn't see that run. Oh, he's still got a four ball out there, too. It's all about the red ball. I've been talking about the red ball this whole game, and <laughs> I feel better about it now. Well, he's about to make the red ball disappear. Just like that. And then he's going to make the counterpart red ball, the maroon yeah. ball. Which is in the red family. It is. That's why he's going to get rid of them all. Okay. That way, there's no more confusion. It's like an easy table from here, Jason. Should be. Four ball end up being his eight ball. He's looking at right now is how to get on this eight ball, make sure that he's going to be fine. But coming off the rail, off the four, should be fine. He might go get the four now. Nope. Yeah, take it on low and just scoot it up the rail here. Yeah, he'll scoot up the rail. He's going to have to avoid the stripes going up there. I think you're right. I think he's going to be okay on the 15. No, he doesn't nah, look like he should be able to. It. I'm looking at the monitor. He should be able to skirt down, like you said. Have an easy shot on the 14 or the four ball. What almost a straight in shot. Got a little extra bump on the eight ball just to clear it out. Draw that back a little bit more, but uh, it's not on the rail, so it's not it's talent level. It's just you know ridiculous. It's not on the rail, so yeah, he shouldn't have any issues with this. It's a big shot. Yep. Which also like a cannon. Thor has spoken again. 
Right, he puts himself on the hill with that eight ball. Five, two. And he's breaking. The hand of Thor once again. If he's looking for a new nickname, I have given it to him, the California Thor. Do you think he'd take it? I think he'd like it. Maybe we'll have to find out at the end of this. One thing I want you to notice, Jason, is he put the three ball in the corner again. <laughs> and I think that's very important right now. And the, and the 11's on the other side. I mean, so not many people on a microphone will say what other people think, but the red ball in the corner matters. <laughs> you remember that all you pool players out there when you're racking your balls. Three ball goes in the corner. Doesn't matter which corner, just three. Unless you, well, you can't really do it for nine ball, but you could try. Mike Davis, 5-2. Yes, on the hill. This quarterfinal match in the 2020 Virginia State Football Champions. Yeah. Looks like Matt's about to start hitting some balls to get loosened up to be ready for the next round. Winner of this plays him. Any sign of what's happened recently because Mike's broken around the last two racks he's had. This might end soon. Let's see what happens with a three ball. I hope it goes in the pocket so we can stop thinking about it. Goes racing around. Oh, it got stopped. It's still on the table. But nothing went in for nothing it. Nothing went here. It's a wide open table. It keeps Nathan in the game. This is a steep hill to climb back from 5 2. He needs a four bagger. <sighs> Means he's got to survive at least one more of Mike's breaks. I think he's going to go with stripes in this. What about this 10 ball, Jason? I thought that the low balls were open a little bit better for him here because that 10 might Take be him straight play down the rail. Tonight. He's going to have to get on the rail. Right he's going to get on it right now. He's going to have to. A little bit of side spin. Get off the back rail. Come rest. Just like that. Oh, he overhit it. Oh, that wasn't good. He didn't want to do that. Now he's going to come up with a backup plan. He can get back over there now if he wants to, but he'd have to bank the 15 in the side. And he's got to be careful here. One miss and his tournament's over. He's had a good showing, though. That's considering his age. Good young talent in this tournament. Yeah, he just made this run completely impossible. I think maybe if he can squeeze that 15 ball in. It looks He's like the cue ball carry though. into the eight. Yeah, it will. Now, if he soft rolls it, it might be able to get up, hit off the back side of the eight ball, but that might put him back on the ten. It's a touch shot. Yeah, he's looking at cutting the 15, but it's a touch shot. Good scratch off the seven, which almost happened. Now everything's that wide open. should be all she wrote here. Very possible. Mike Davis. I tell you what, look at this. Nathan Childress won a big event in Pennsylvania just a week ago. 
$2,200 Calcutta one also. Got half of that. At his oh, age, I'm going to tell coming. you what. The M sky's Shane. the limit. Over it, pull in the air is definitely going to get stronger. But you still got the old guard out, with Mike Davis. Can he run through three youngsters? Well, the next one's not a youngster. Compared to me, he is. Well, that's good. Yeah. You said earlier, ninety-five. But I look good for ninety-five. I just want you to know, everybody out there. Mike's got an easy table here. I think for Mike. A lot of stop shots, nothing seven really uh, pressing on this. It goes 2 7 here, Jason, just to try to get back up table or? Nah, to save 3 ball next. Uh, maybe not. Okay, the 7. <laughs> it's looking like a 7 3 6 1 8 combination. <laughs> Or a pattern, shall we say? I think we'll go with a pattern. Or like I one. said, uh, that would be a pretty miraculous North combo. Carolina Thor in effect right now. Anytime you're using a bridge, it can. The results could differ, but he's got his choice anything here. Whatever six, he three, thinks, one, Jason. Eight. So Jason's going to 6-3-1-8. I'm going with the 6 3 one eight also, so we're going to have to split this money. A little bit of follow after the one, just that way you're not bridged over the 11 for the 8 ball, but it's pretty elementary from here. I mean, yeah, a little bit of a cut on the 3. Almost straight in, probably. He wants to back that up to get an easy shot on the eight, but right now he's in a zone. He's going to figure after being down 5 nothing at BJ Ussery, he has won 10 of the last 12 games and looking at 13 of 15. Gets on a mission. Get out of his way. Stopped it right there. Going to roll up forward. Yeah, he'll roll past nothing the left. Nothing right in here. Not a ball, so that way there's nothing to It's going to be hard to bet against him right now. Bumped 11 out to say, get out of my way. North Carolina Thor trying to make the eight ball for a 6-2 victory. Yeah, it's all set up. Nathan Childress, fourth place finish. She's going to fire this thing in. Thor. Thor That's again. Incredible six, two, match. Mike Davis Didn't have much chance Mike. there. Nathan Childress. Nathan Childress, fourth place finish. We'll be back shortly with our semifinal match of the evening. Thank you. Uh, Blankenship Baker Enterprises out for now. Thank you. 